Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Monday. It's October the 8th, 2012. We're looking at a few different charts today. For the most part, we're in cash as of today because we've got stopped out of a lot of things. Uh, other things we haven't been stopped out of yet, but it looks like we may very soon. So we'll just be going to cash probably this week. Um, let me show you what we're looking at right now. Looking at the Australian market, AORD. This is the one that made us the most amount of money for the past uh, week and a half or so. And we talked about this when it was setting up because you were coming off, uh, off of a cup with handle chart pattern. Whenever you got a very strong chart pattern formation, that's where you want to get in involved and the focus of your uh, trading strategy should be based on uh, chart patterns. That's really, really important. If you don't know about chart patterns, you can go to our free website at perfectstockalert.com. Tons of videos there to teach them to you. We also do, uh, actually, as of this weekend, uh, we're doing alerts now on individual companies that are making very strong chart patterns, so you can check them out there as well. We only post them on the website, so in case you're wondering. Uh, now, looking at this one, we've actually taken the stop that was here, and we've just advanced it to today, one cent off today's low. Uh, we knew we were coming close to the top anyway for multiple reasons. You had this previous, we talked about it over the weekend, you can measure this distance out and get that idea of when the breakout how high you expect price to go before you get a pivot point reversal point you also have the ultimate oscillator trading up above the 70 line at that time period so again to see you start to get some uh, headwinds there would make sense again just advance the stop expect to get stopped out and then walk away from the trade and you made money congratulations let's move on the Dow Jones Industrial Average has stopped us out as of today. So either you took your profits on um, Friday when we were looking to test the previous high or you were stopped out today. This wasn't a trade we were looking for a lot of money on simply because we talked about when it was going on. We just didn't have much of a pullback here. Very low pullback gives you very low potential at the upside. We talked about that uh, from many different angles. But uh, the main thing here is I don't actually see this as a sell opportunity. I'm sure somebody else will. Uh, I don't because I've looked at the longer term charts and we're seeing a lot of support reasons there. And we also have the Fed that's going to be manipulating the market, so forth and so on, driving them to the upside. You also have the bias of the overall uptrend and everything. So there's really nothing here that I can say, okay, I'm going to be really confident on the short side. Uh, what I actually see here is basically this little. Uh, top trend line right here, this resistance point here, and this little one here. This looks like something we'll just be trading within for a while. Uh, if we get a breakout to the upside off of oversold conditions, I'd probably be a buyer and we'll wait for that situation to develop before I get in there. I have found multiple uh, charts, I'd say about 20, uh, that I will be interested in, both long side and short side. There's just more uh, volatility in their individual charts and, and more uh, opportunities rather than trying to trade a really tight trading uh, average like this. So if you're looking for an opportunity, look at individual companies as opposed to the market averages at this point in time. Looking now at the London Financial Times Index or the FTSE, we've been stopped out of this one as well. We took either a small gain or a small loss in this one. This one again was a very strong chart for us that we liked, at least for the Europe uh, sector there. Uh, we liked the FTSE as opposed to some of the others. Um, that's fine. Um, we've been stopped out. Now we just we'll, we can keep in mind that if your strong charts are stopping you out, that's everything you need to know. If you're if you're looking out there and you're looking through different averages or individual stocks, and you see weak ones that you pass on, and you see some that are okay, but you're just not that interested. And then you find some that are like, okay, these are the best of uh, the group, so I'll, I'll go into these, and they start stopping you out. Then just sit back and remain in cash and wait for a better opportunity. The NASDAQ continues to be a problematic chart for us. This is a major chart, and we're starting to find. Uh, we've talked about this last week, the potential for a head and shoulders top formation, which is something to definitely keep an, uh, keep an eye on. And I've also gone through and found uh, multiple charts uh, that could uh, can, confirm it. You can look at Apple's chart, you can look at uh, Oracle's chart. There's just a, there's multiple charts out there that are very bearish, and so I'm not going to be trying to call a bottom in this situation here. I'm also not in a hurry to try to short this. I don't have a clearly defined shooting star signal here. Uh, I like to see that if I'm going to be calling it top, and I don't have that, so I'm going to sit back and just kind of watch this chart. Remaining cash here, we've been stopped out as of today. We have a small loss or a small gain, depending on where your entry point was, and there's basically just nothing we can do with this chart at this point in time. If you're short, uh, for whatever reason you're seeing the top here, then you need to take the stop right here and then continue to trade this down to the, to the uh, uh, support line. The, th the problem, the reason why I'm not dying to go short here, and I'll show you why, you got this neckline situation here. You had to close below this in order to confirm that. 
Now, in order to get down that far and close below it, you're going to have to break this previous little uh, resistance, which you've got to break out here. So that means that this resistance is now going to be acting as support. You've also got this one down below it right here. And then you've got this little 50-day moving average here. And the lower Bollinger Band line will be there as well. So all those items there are going to be adding to some support. So I'm looking at this chart going, man, even if I could break through all that and close below the neckline, I just have a hard time saying, yeah, okay, I want to go short right now. That's just a tough trade for me to make right there. So I'm just not going to do that. I'd like something simpler, more clear. Uh, for some of you guys are going to take that. I'm just not going to do this one. Looking now at the S&P 500 large cap index, the SPX, you can see that we have also been stopped out on this particular trade. Again, I basically can see us doing a couple different things. We could continue to move sideways like we were talking about in the uh, overall uh, uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average situation where you've got that little uh, consolidation pattern going on there. And again, we have made a little gain on this, but there wasn't a lot to be made because the pullback wasn't very substantial. Now, there's going to be two different ways to trade this. You could sit, you sit back on cash, which is what I'm going to do, and watch it, uh, look for a better opportunity down the road. Or someone else is going to look at it differently. They're going to say, okay, well, I'm going to go short this particular situation right here being confirmation of the previous shooting star signal here that was a test of the previous high that failed i calling the top that would be a, a logical perfectly fine a technical analysis situation there so your stop is either set right here off this or it's going to be set off of this previous high here not much difference between those two items there um, between those two is where you're going to have your stop set and you're trying to call a market at the top this get, can be done it's just very difficult in this particular scenario i would have done that had one thing been true uh, this low point here had not been taken out. If we'd moved up here, pulled back, come up here, failed, pulled back here, and taken out this low point, then come up here, failed, and start to roll over, I would be all on that. But we didn't. What happens here is we're actually 1430 is uh, actually a couple bucks higher than the 1428 lows you had over here. So uh, again, I, I can't do that. We have conflicting signals. We have uh, an uptrending line and a downtrending line. And that basically tells me to look for sideways trading activity, which would be back within this consolidation pattern here. And so I'm just going to sit there and watch it. For those of you who may have been wanting me to look at a different chart today than I did, you can always go to the free website at perfectstockalert.com, go over here to the markets, go on down to the chart notes, and here you will find my personal notes on all the markets that we actually track here at perfectstockalert.com. You will also find the uh, chart pattern uh, uh, alerts right here is what we're talking about. We started doing this weekend, so you can check them out. Some good trades there. And if, as always, if you've not been to the free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free, and all we ask in return Please refer a friend. God bless, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.